Hello everyone. Thank you for being here today. In this rapidly evolving digital era, businesses are continuously seeking ways to leverage modern technologies to enhance their efficiency, stay competitive, and accelerate their growth. A pivotal aspect of this transformation is digital modernization. Today, we delve into the world of digital modernization on Google Cloud Platform and explore how it comprises of three different facets of modernization, namely application modernization, infrastructure modernization, and data modernization. As we embark on our exploration of digital modernization today, it's crucial to dispel the misconception that it merely involves migration, migrating applications to the cloud. The landscape of modernization extends beyond a simple relocation. It encompasses a holistic transformation that integrates three essential elements, application modernization, infrastructure modernization, and data modernization. These three facets synergize to form the comprehensive concept of digital modernization. Now let's break it down further. Application modernization involves optimizing and enhancing existing applications, making them cloud native, scalable, and agile. Simultaneously, infrastructure modernization focuses on refining the underlying IT infrastructure to harness the full potential of cloud resources. Finally, the data modernization addresses the strategic management of um, strategic management and utilization or utilizing your data, ensuring that it becomes a valuable asset to um, a valuable asset for informed decision making. Together, these interconnected components redefine the uh, digital landscape creating a symbiotic relationship that goes beyond simple migration. It is a transformative journey towards digital modernization. So remember, in this equation, the combined force of application modernization, infrastructure modernization, and data modernization provides the true essence of digital modernization. Now, before we delve into digital modernization, a little bit about myself. So my name is Anu. I'm a principal consultant with a strong focus on cloud technologies and a passion for delivering innovative solutions. I specialize in Google Cloud Platform with a strong emphasis on professional development. With over 15 years of experience in the industry, I've acquired a diverse skill set and achieved numerous professional level certifications in leading cloud and, pla and um, container orchestration platforms such as Google Cloud and Kubernetes. I currently hold now, um, nine out of 11 Google Cloud uh, professional certifications, and I'm aiming to achieve that magical number of 11 soon. My primary area, for, um, my primary area of expertise lies in architecting and implementing solutions across, across uh, different technologies in cloud platforms. Throughout my career, I've worked on numerous client engagements leveraging my expertise to deliver tailored and cutting edge solutions specific to Google Cloud. I regularly contribute to uh, blog posts and participate in boot camps where I can engage with other enthusiasts and gain insights from their experiences. Furthermore, I actively contribute to the growth of um, the Google Cloud community, actively participating as a member to foster collaboration and support others on their cloud journeys. I'm also an authorized Google Cloud trainer. Now, I guess enough about me. Let's start talking about the application modernization. So as we all know, uh, whenever we talk to any client or any vendor, there are many benefits of uh, application modernization or uh, modernizing your application, such as increased agility and scalability, reduced cost, improved efficiency, enhanced user experience, increased innovation. So cloud-based cloud applications are uh, more agile and scalable than traditional on-premises applications. This means that businesses can quickly adapt to changing customer demands and market conditions. Cloud-based applications can help businesses to reduce their IT costs 
by eliminating the, ne uh, the need to purchase and maintain on-premises hardware and software. Cloud platforms offer a number of security and compliance features that can help businesses to protect their data and applications. They also provide a better user experience than traditional on-premises applications. This is because they can be accessed from anywhere on any device and they can be updated more frequently. I think cloud-based applications also help businesses to innovate more quickly to provide access to new technologies and development tools. Now, before we dig any further, let's think about what modernization is. So to clarify the concept of digital modernization, it is the process of harnessing advanced technologies and platforms to transform your IT infrastructure, data management, and application development. In the context of Google Cloud Platform, or any other cloud platform for that matter, we'll break it down into three core categories as we discussed uh, just then. Infrastructure modernization. So infrastructure modernization is the foundation of digital transformation. As I mentioned before, it is basically the process of transitioning from legacy on-premises um, infrastructure to agile, scalable, and cloud-based solutions. Data modernization unlocks the value of data through cloud-based storage and processing capabilities. It empowers advanced analytics, real-time insights, and intelligent decision-making. For application modernization, it is basically the, pro uh, the process of updating application architecture, design, and functionality to leverage new technologies and the cloud platforms. It basically helps in enhancing scalability, agility, and user experience, a transformative process that goes beyond simple migration to the cloud. Now, let's specifically talk about infrastructure modernization or, and, and what, what it involves. So infrastructure modernization forms the bedrock of any digital modernization. It involves migrating from traditional on-premises setups to dynamic cloud-based infrastructure. It refers to the process of updating and migrating an organization's IT infrastructure to the cloud. This can involve uh, moving servers, storage, or network equipments to the cloud as well as adopting cloud-native technologies such as containerization and serverless computing. So some of the key uh, elements that are included in um, infrastructure modernization are virtualization and containerization, utilizing tools like Kubernetes and Compute Engine for scalability, profitability, and efficiency. For infrastructure as a code, it is basically the process of automating the infrastructure provisioning and management through um, code-based tools like Terraform. Then serverless computing, which is basically a process of leveraging platforms like Cloud Run and Cloud, uh, Cloud Functions for automatic scaling and cost efficiency. So you don't need, really need to spin up the resources that are needed to uh, run your application. It um, uh, spins up the resources on demand. From a network modernization perspective, GCP's high-performance network infrastructure for fast, secure, and global, globally connected applications um, is something that we can uh, uh, leverage um, for network modernization. As we all know, data is a very valuable asset, and modernizing data, or basically modernizing data uh, management unlocks its potential, its true potential. When I say true potential, so data modernization refers to uh, the process of updating and migrating an organization's data to the cloud. This can involve moving from um, on-premises data centers to cloud-based uh, data lakes and warehouses, as well as adopting um, cloud-based data processing and analytics tools. Some of the key aspects involved in data modernization are data warehousing, which is migrating to solutions like BigQuery for handling large volumes of structured and semi-structured data. Data lakes and analytics, um, which is used for uh, storing, managing, and analyzing diverse data types using cloud storage 
Dataflow and Datapro that are um, Google Cloud provided native uh, solutions for um, uh, supporting data lakes and analytics um, uh, services. Data streaming and real-time analytics is basically the process of ingesting, processing, and analyzing data in real time. And it can be used, um, it can be performed by using tools like uh, Cloud Pops Up uh, that, are, um, that is available on Google Cloud Platform. Now from a machine learning and AI perspective, harnessing AI services like AutoML, AI Platform, and TensorFlow for um, innovation and efficiency. Then comes application modernization. Application modernization is um, about more than just migrating to the cloud. It is about enhancing an application's architecture and functionality. So some of the very key components involved in an application modernization process um, uh, could be um, the microservices architecture, breaking the mon monolithic applications into microservices for agility, scalability, and independent deployment or API-based integration, fostering interoperability through seamless integration with other applications and systems. DevOps and CICD um, pipelines, embracing uh, DevOps practices and CICD pipelines for automated builds, testing, and deployment. Um, employing something like uh, data-driven uh, designs if the core uh, business uh, that, that basically aligns with the core business domains. Um, also making sure we decouple the application from specific technology that helps uh, in fairly easily moving from uh, something like MySQL to Postgres or maybe Spanner for, for that matter. And uh, it also gives the capability to move easily from um, uh, cloud uh, native applications like Cloud Run to something like Cloud Functions. And one of the key concept or one of the key element of application modernization is that isolation of business logic from the technology. So making sure that the technology that is being used to run the business logic is not tied uh, tightly. So it, is, it, it, it gives that flexibility of moving the whole tech stack to another uh, technology uh, without impacting the business logic. Now, we talked about uh, digital modernization and we also talked about how um, we can break down the digital modernization and how different uh, modernization uh, facets like infrastructure modernization, data modernization, and application modernization encompasses uh, digital modernization. But uh, before going any further, let's take a step back and let's talk about some of the six R's that we have been talking about um, whenever we talk about uh, migration to the cloud. So again, depending on the vendor, uh, it can be five hours, six hours, or um, seven hours. But uh, on a very high level, the, the uh, hours are basically categorized um, in, in, uh, diff in uh, following categories like retire, retain, rehost, replatform, repurchase, or re-architect, or we also sometimes call it as uh, refactor. So retire is basically when we, um, when after application discovery, um, uh, the business decide that uh, you don't need to move these applications uh, to the cloud because uh, these applications are not needed uh, in the future. So we just uh, decommission those applications. The next one is retain which is basically when you decide to keep applications exactly as is before re-evaluating it sometime again in future because of some complications. So an example of this app migration strategy can be unsupported OS and applications or legally, legacy applications that do not have a business justification for migrating to the cloud. Then comes rehost. This is one of the most basic ways of migrating to cloud and it is also sometimes called as lift and shift. This means to take your applications or the systems and move them exactly as is into the cloud environment. This approach is great for organizations that need to migrate quickly. For example, data center lease uh, that is about to expire. Then comes our uh, re-platform. Re-platform, which is uh, also sometimes called as lift and reshape because you can potentially take advantage of some of the special capabilities of the cloud. 
An example of this app migration strategy uh, could be re-platforming leads to um, cloud optimization due to some cloud, re, uh, cloud platform adoption while keeping the application core architecture the same. Often re-platforming is used when replacing database backends of applications uh, with a corresponding PaaS uh, database solutions of a cloud provider. The next in the list is repurchase. So as the name suggests, repurchasing, also sometimes called as replacing, is the strategy where the legacy application is fully replaced by a SaaS-based um, uh, solution that provides the same or similar capabilities. Um, this involves uh, basically abandoning the existing software that you have and migrating to the cloud-first application. Um, some of the example uh, could be changing your web application firewall to something like Cloud Armor. Um, the next, but not the least, is re-architect or refactor. So for highly critical applications that require cloud-native characteristics or applications that need thorough modernization due to outdatedness or performance issues, re-architecting, also called as refactoring or even rebuild, is a strategy that usually, that usually leads to the highest transformation cost. However, it allows optimized use of the cloud, leading to cloud native benefits and making the application future-proof. Re-architecting an application um, often comes along with the opportunity to even break it down um, the supported uh, or break down the supported uh, business processes into fragments, which greatly improves simplicity and makes a business process more agile. This is the most advanced application migration strategy. Put simply, it is a redesign of your application in a more cloud native manner. In general, you create a serverless version of legacy applications. Um, some of the examples could be migrating your own premises Oracle database to, uh, to something like uh, Cloud Spanner. You can choose to modernize uh, your um, monolithic application by, by um, as I was saying, breaking it down into smaller microservices and leverage services like Cloud Run or Cloud Functions. So now, as I uh, mentioned in the previous slide, application modernization is basically the process of updating and refactoring existing applications to take advantage of new technologies and cloud computing platforms. This can involve a variety of changes, such as migrating applications to the cloud native services, refactoring them to a microservice architecture, or adding new features such as um, mobile support or artificial uh, intelligence. So out of the six hours that we just discussed in um, the previous slide, the last one where we talked about refactoring or um, uh, rebuilding is basically the process of application modernization. So now coming to the end, uh, we have been talking about um, the digital modernization and uh, the three components, um, how we break it down. Now, what it will look like um, transforming our application or doing the digital transformation on Google Cloud. So just to give you an idea, um, this is not uh, the exact um, way uh, that you should be or you would be uh, modernizing your infrastructure. This is one of the possible ways um, and it lists down the services that you could be using to modernize your application. So on the very far left, um, we have, um, so as, as we know, uh, Google Cloud Platform offers a wide range of services and tools um, that can help businesses to modernize their applications. So uh, on the very far left, uh, we have um, um, at the top uh, external facing applications configured with cloud load balancing and cloud armor. You can also make use of um, services like Apache API platform or uh, cloud endpoints for interfacing with the applications via custom developed API endpoints. And then um, below that, we have uh, native tools like uh, Cloud Build in conjunction with uh, third-party tools such as Terraform and Packer that are used to define infrastructure as a code. We can make use of um, Secrets Manager uh, for the applications to store their secrets securely. Data encryption at rest 
provided by multiple services um, via um, key management system or KMS. Then we have uh, container image um, images um, that can be deployed using artifact registry and securing it with um, signature validation via binary authorization. Then we can have our application running on uh, compute co uh, components, uh, re-platformed or re-architected into containerized platform uh, such as Cloud Run or GKE. Or even um, if we can break it down and uh, completely use the modernized uh, or serverless infrastructure, uh, use something like uh, Cloud Functions. Then we have from a data storage perspective, host the data on cloud native services, such as um, cloud storage, cloud SQL, Firestore, or memory store. Again, depending on what the business use case is, what the requirement is, we can uh, choose uh, one of the following um, uh, services from the available um, services uh, that the Google Cloud Platform offers. Now, we can also make use of event-driven interactions using services like either PubSub or Event Talk. Then on the far right, uh, we have a um, uh, whole uh, bunch of uh, services for uh, cloud operations, so cloud operation suite or um, the analytics services uh, like um, uh, BigQuery. And um, from a uh, dashboarding perspective, we have um, Google Cloud uh, Data Studio. Now, moving on, um, distinguishing um, between the application modernization um, and uh, cloud migration. So we talked about uh, um, how the digital modernization comprises of infrastructure modernization, data modernization, and application modernization. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, view on how the application modernization differs from a simple migration to the cloud. So the application modernization and cloud migration, they're closely related, but they have distinct focuses and scopes. So uh, to name a few, uh, we have um, the compelling uh, moment or trigger. So what basically triggered uh, that discussion about cl cloud migration or application modernization. So it's basically, uh, in most of the cases, um, the lease that's coming to end for our data center that basically triggers that uh, discussion around uh, moving to the cloud. Whereas um, if it is the performance uh, or efficiency related discussions that um, triggers that conversation for application modernization. Now from a focus perspective, application modernization enhances application architecture whereas cloud migration primarily focuses on shifting to the cloud. From a scope perspective, application modernization encompasses infrastructure data and application architecture, whereas cloud migration um, centers on application and infrastructure transition. Some of the benefits of application modernization uh, is uh, it fully leverages cloud technology's potential, whereas cloud migration primarily taps into the scalability and flexibility that's offered by um, the public cloud platforms. And last but not the least is around the skill set. The, the um, type of skills that are needed for an application migration and infrastructure modernization or uh, migration to the cloud is, uh, is uh, different. Now with that, I hope I have given you a clear picture of how an application modernization is completely different from just migration to the cloud and how the three facets of digital modernization tie together and um, give you give the uh, businesses the uh, true potential uh, and um, of, of using the cloud technologies and can enhance the performance and efficiency of your business. So in the quest to harness the um, power of cloud technology, Application modernization is a pivotal strategy. By understanding infrastructure modernization, data modernization, and application modernization as interconnected components, businesses can embark on a comprehensive journey to transform their applications and fully embrace the potential of the cloud. Application, infrastructure, 
and data modernization are all three uh, or are all um, uh, essential components of uh, comprehensive digital transformation strategy by modernizing all these three areas organizations can improve their agility scalability and efficiency and gain a competitive edge in the digital economy remember it's not just about moving to the cloud it's about optimizing applications for success in the digital landscape thank you for attention i'm open for any questions and discussion and feel free to connect with me um, on the details as mentioned on the slide here thank you